Good morning, and welcome to another unsubstantiated pile of crap from the Voice of Doom in a show called Diatribes. And now here's your uncredentialed and absolutely incompetent host, Voice of Good morning. And it is morning. I haven't slept. I did sleep today. I had a weird day. It's 4.32 a.m. And I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I just wanted to rail on about what I've been seeing in the news, and it's horrible. Um, Information seems to be the topic of the day, and who controls information, and who allows information, and who buys information, and who expedites, and who makes information available, and who says, say what you want, and who says, you better not say what you want. And uh, I think everybody's getting a little sick of it. So we can uh, commiserate. We can have a big hullabaloo about this whole issue right before the conflagration. Because we got nothing better to do until the explosions really start happening. And then we'll have other things to worry about besides who said what. Now... Between the last two days, between Elon buying a platform of communication, which should be demolished, if he had any integrity, he would take the whole thing and destroy it and say there's not going to be any Twitter because who needs to have a bunch of idiots saying their opinion that they don't know what they're talking about. And the people that do know what they're talking about lie their asses off. Now, we are reaching a point where we need a, what do they call it? A Department of Truth, a a vetting of the correct information by the powers that be, because we can just not allow people to just say whatever they want. Now, Anybody could see this coming 30 years ago. In 1992, 93, I saw the internet. I helped build it. I did way more than Gore ever could have thought of doing, building this internet. Because I was selling the books to the people that were building it. And I saw it getting built before my very eyes. And the thing was, it was going to be a world wide web. It was going to be a computer-driven platform of communication where everybody can get their word out. I got my life out into the universe. I already told you that. You look at my diatribes. I've been very open and candid about sending my angst and my, you know, frustrations out into the universe and it's going out into the universe so the world wide web is a is an incredible thing that has caused more damage than we could ever hope for because we're worried about everybody's stupid ass opinion now 99.9% of the people are too stupid to even have an opinion but yet they have one okay Let them have one. And I'm part of it. I'm not any better than anybody else. But I've been on this planet a while, long enough to see how things have gone. And we are heading toward a Orwellian. And Orwell would be confused. He would look at our society right now and go, I don't get it. I don't understand what you're doing. Because 
1984, Orwell talked about a all-powerful government, Big Brother, which just gave you information. If they changed it, they changed it, and then everything got changed. But in this day and age, they're saying things as if, you know, as if uh, these uh, what do you call them? Everything keeping track of us. The videos on the phones are taking pictures of you while you're saying stuff. They're videotaping things while you say stuff. I mean, I'm it's it's late at night. I can't articulate very well, but they have evidence of you saying something, and then they say the exact opposite, and expect you to just go along with it because we just don't have the, you know, our attention span isn't long enough that we will accept what these idiots say after they've said the exact opposite before. Now, I don't need to give you examples. I will give you examples from this <clears throat> nice-looking girl who has the brain capacity of a sea slug, Nina Jankowitz. Now, she's supposed to be the arbiter of truth now. She's going to say what's right and what's wrong after she's already proven to be an idiot because she's propagated these rumors and these non-facts that, you know, certain things that go against Petri dish are Russian. They're Russian in origin. It has nothing to do with fact. And I'm sure she said many other things. Many things. I'm not going to even bother wasting my time going through what she said about how everything's not the way it is. Now, how long are we going to put up with this crap? Because we're getting to the point where Elon Musk is going to take over Twitter. So what? I'd say p take Twitter and throw it into the sewer. Along with the Afghanis. Um, what are they going to do with information? I mean, someone's going to decide what's right and what's wrong. And they can't have their, their person that's supposed to be doing all this good for them sullied by any information, even though we look with our own eyes. You understand what eyes are? You look with your eyes and your ears and you hear it and you go, this guy's demented. He's in the throes of dementia. He's not going to make it for two and a half more years. So all you people are de delusional, thinking, oh, what's, what are we going to do in 2020? 24, come on. We're going to be lucky to make it to 2023. So, I'm not saying anything. Because I'm not lucid. I'm gone. It's just like the information is gone. I've already explained it to you over the last two or three diatribes that information is what you gather into your head. And we have 8 billion people on this planet all with a different schema. You understand schema? They have a different idea of what's actually going on with the information they take in and whether the information is right or wrong. You can't just force everybody to think the same. I know that the liberal idiot numbskulls would love everybody to think the same, that everybody is good and everybody should be tolerated, and that's fine. But they're taking it to a fault, and they know they are. They're not actually sentient enough to know what they're doing, but they're taking it to a fault, and we see what's going to happen, and things are coming to a head. And I've been saying that for like five or six, seven months. I only started this diatribe in July, so it's only been nine months. And by the time July comes in 2022... 
I will have vindication. You will see that I am right. We are doomed. And you can see why we're doomed. It's obvious. We can't even come to any conclusions about what truth is. Because everybody says that it's the opposite of what you're seeing. I can't articulate it correctly. I've just been watching a bunch of this crap and it's getting on my nerves because everyone can see what's happening and yet they want to spin it. And I'm sick of spinning. Spinning is 90s. That's, you know, a spinmeister. Those, that's from the Clinton era. I can't spin anymore because you see it. I take a picture of you saying one thing. And then five minutes later, you're saying the exact opposite. It depends on who's in office or who's in power. And you say the exact opposite of what you said before. So I would say the government should disband like today or tomorrow. I mean, the best thing to happen would be for the government to completely dissolve in the next two or three days so that we can start again. Otherwise, we're just going to have a conflagration. And I already told you, I hope the conflagration comes, but I don't think people are ready for it because they don't know what that means. That means food shortages. Ukraine is a breadbasket for the world, for the whole Eastern Hemisphere. They can't plant their plants. They can't get the potash they can't get the fertilizer products out of the ground in order for the world to survive because we're too busy blowing each other up and i'm really sick of it i'm sick of people blowing each other up because it's been going on for ever since i was born and before that that people have to go around and blow each other up it's not getting us anywhere it's obvious so, I didn't say anything, I'm sorry. Just a rant. I don't even know if I'll post it. I doubt if I will because it was incoherent babbling on a much better level than our stalwart leader of the free world, Petri Dish, who can't put two th or three words together. I could be high on mushrooms and drunk off my ass and I could do a better job than him easy so let's not fool ourselves i'm nobody and i won't be a leader but i can do a better job i'll leave it at that i'm sorry it was horrible i shouldn't even post this so have a good night or day or morning or whatever the hell it is and uh, enjoy what's left of whatever history is coming our way. Good night.